out of power. Remember, came up with their earnings just a couple of uh, uh, just a couple of minutes back, and it's been a surprise loss that the company's actually seen in its uh, third quarter. And that really being on the back of 160 crore uh, forex loss that the company actually suffered, and hence you got a little bit of a weak op uh, operating scenario coming in for the company this time around. You can see on the top line also there's a tad bit of disappointment. 3.8% lower, and hence you also had the operating metrics start uh, coming a little bit on the weaker side, where you had the net loss at roughly around 74.9 crores is uh, what we've picked up on a net loss basis. In terms of uh, what we're seeing as far as the operation is concerned, we'll just try and highlight that for you as well. EBITDA was down 3.8%. Margins also came in extremely flat for the quarter, roughly around 20.5%. 20, uh, 20 is what's come in some of the other key factors that play out here was the fact that the coal business hasn't really performed up to the mark at 5 p.m. The management will be addressing analysts in a con call. We'll try and see what kind of clarifications we pick up in terms of uh, the quarter gone by. But we caught up with Rupesh Sanke to get a first cut in terms of the numbers there. Get out what he makes of it. Coming from the Mundra plant is very high and they have reported a forex loss also. So basically, uh, it's more to do with the Mundra plant, and uh, only uh, no near-term uh, triggers could be you know tariff uh, uh, roll from the Mundra plant.